No offense, but I don't even know if I want to be here right now. Oh, well, why would I be offended by that? I thought this would be good for me to help me get over this guy I thought I was in love with, but this whole thing is making me think of him more intensely. Cool. I try to be really positive at this point. Like, if, if anyone, I, as far as, not, in, not as far as dates go, like, if you, you get rejected, if someone you, someone you want to be with doesn't want to be with you, that's sad and there's no way over it. You just have to... I, I'd cry, just but uh, in the dark. but like professional rejection, like I always stay really positive. I'm like, if if whoever says no, it, there's a reason. I'm 25 and I'm sort of in this weird transitional phase. Damon, I need to tell you how I feel. Fine. How do you feel? I I don't know. I think I read it in Cosmo, <laughs> or maybe Dita Von Teese said it one time. But it's that you could be the orangiest orange and at the end of the day, somebody's still gonna not like oranges. It's something like that and I think it's like, you are not really in control of if people like you or not. So you can just feel free to create because people will still just not like you because yeah. it's out of your control. You could be the orangiest orange, but, but the then the day, they, they want an apple? Yes, yeah. that's what it is. Yes, okay. that's what it is. And I was worried about the apple part, so I didn't say I felt very vulnerable. Yeah. But because I've just been really getting shut down for my phrases. You could be right. the orangiest orange, but they might want another orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, they want like a more firmer orange. They want a skinnier orange. <laughs> at the end of the day, they want a not black orange. <laughs> Jessica, I really like you. Of course you do. Everybody does. I'm friggin' dope. What is your name? 